tone is very different here. So one of the things you have to understand about tone coin is hmm, how, where should we start? Uh, Pantera capital, right? Um, pretty much the, one of the oldest and, and largest hedge funds in crypto, their largest position, their two largest positions, um, for new positions in this bull market are Solana and tone coin. Interesting, right? Um, the reason why they got Solana is because they got such a cheap deal off of FTX um, bankruptcy. They bought a bunch of the Solana they had left. Um, good for them, right? And then ToneCoin, they struck a deal um, in the background with you know Pavel, uh, the CEO, and, and probably some others said, hey, we like this investment. We're going to go as hard as we've ever gone in anything by buying ToneCoin, right? So you can see here, I bet you Pantera has been DCAing into this since April 29th. Why? <laughs> because you can see price just holding that 20 week moving average or that 10 week moving average and really not dumping at all. So you're not really scouting for bottoms here. You're really just um, looking to buy this before it goes crazy. If we did get this next 60 day cycle as a left translated cycle, we dump into that early August period, then maybe if you're lucky, you get this back down to like six bucks. Um, but yeah, this one is probably going to move, uh, sooner rather than later. This looks very similar to when, uh, Bitcoin, let's see on the weekly here and we turn that off Bitcoin, uh, like here as an example in December, right? It went up into that December period, chopped sideways, had a really hard time dumping and then continued after the ETF approval. Uh, it's kind of like that here with ToneCoin, right? You went up, you have some bullish news happening with it. It's kind of creating higher lows and then boom, it makes another crazy run up. Um, if you were to say it might make another run similar to this first move here, something like 124% increase. So let's say from around this median range. And this is just, you know, stab in the dark on upwards price a little bit. Uh, you might get it going towards 13 bucks, a little bit less than a 2x um, from where it's at now. So um, I could see something like that happening. But yeah, probably on the next run up, it has some, it gets some sell off, maybe around that $13 area or so, and then comes back again, you know, towards $10 and then really rips later in the year. I could see that probably mainly happening. But um, the only reason why you would be buying Tone Coin right now is because it broke out of its previous all time highs. We were telling you guys. Um, basically to buy this when it was still two bucks um, before February of this year. We talked about Tone Coin, I would say, for a year and a quarter. Uh, so that was pretty much from around this period here, around a dollar, under two dollars. We were talking about Tone Coin. Uh, I have to go back and check exactly, but around that area. And it just stayed a, around that price for the longest time. Uh, it was two dollars until February this year. And then boom, it's gone crazy, right? And this is just the beginning for Tone Coin. Uh, it probably gives you similar access to Solana, I would say. Uh, but if we take a look at, do they have? We do we have a sold to tone ratio yet? We do not. Uh, we'd have to create one here. Um, we're not going to do that right now. But um, yeah, I think this one can go really well. So the only reason why you're buying here is just because there's so much bullish news on it and so much stuff that is going to come out. Now, some of the stuff that I can say, let's see here. Where do we have that? This is kind of interesting because ToneCoin has a gaming aspect to it, which gaming and crypto and the Web3 stuff, Metaverse stuff has an NFT aspect too, right? And so <clears throat> looking at this news article, which is Animoca Brands looks to crypto-friendly markets for potential 2025 listing, right? Uh, if we scroll down here, we'll just read a little bit of it, but the first, and we're not going to pay for this shit, um, but uh, it says here, uh, just the first paragraph, a crypto gaming and Metaverse conglomerate Animoca Brands, uh, valued at $6 billion in 2022, is considering a public listing in Hong Kong, which is China, or Middle East as early as next year, co-founder and executive chair Yatsui said. So China, Australia, um, and uh, the Middle East will have significant uh, influence on crypto this cycle. I would say, uh, you say Japan as well, once the GameFi narrative really gets going. But uh, in the Middle East, what company in crypto do we have there? Obviously, we have a bunch of different stuff in uh, Dubai because Dubai is pretty crypto friendly. But ToneCoin is based in the Middle East, right? And then in Hong Kong slash China, you have a lot of crypto projects um, based out of there. 
and uh, mm, apparently, allegedly, right, uh, large companies in China as well that have some some large tech companies that have links to the CCP. I don't know how to say it any better than that um, without saying the company name. Uh, <laughs> some of those large companies um, are getting hard into crypto as well, right? Some of them through stuff like Tonecoin, some of them through other stuff too. Um, but yeah, the uh, the game fight narrative, I, get, I think, gets pushed out from some of these areas, which is why Animoca Brands is like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh, basically go into one of those two crypto friendly markets. I'm guessing they're probably gonna go more towards the Middle East. Tonecoin ended up going towards that too. Um, but it's interesting because you'll start probably seeing this pattern now. A lot of game fight companies being like, hey, we just went to Dubai, or hey, we just uh, you know got listed in Hong Kong, or hey. You know, uh, we got we got stuff going on with Japan. Um, so interesting stuff that's going on there. But yeah, uh, Tonecoin kind of in, in the heart of it.